Hi there, kids. It's Nanny Storytime again. It's been about three weeks, so I thought I'd read another story to you. This one is SpongeBob SquarePants, Trouble at the Krusty Krab. Adapted by Stephen Banks and illustrated by Zina Sanders. Or Saunders. Okay, here we go. There was trouble at the Krusty Krab. Police helicopters circled above the town. The people of Bikini Bottom had gathered to see what was going on. News reporters came up to the owner, Mr. Krabs. The people wanted to know, what is going on, asked a reporter. Settle down, please, shouted Mr. Krabs. We have a problem here that I would rather not discuss until my manager gets here. Just then a car pulled up and out stepped SpongeBob SquarePants. The crowd cheered. My manager is here, cried Mr. Krabs with a sigh of relief. The day is saved. He will know what to do. Talk to me, Krabs, said Mr. SpongeBob. It started out as a simple order. A Krabby Patty with cheese, said Mr. Krabs. So what went wrong, asked Miss SpongeBob. The customer took a bite and, and, and Mr. Krabs couldn't go on. Spit it out, Krabs, cried SpongeBob. There was no cheese, shouted Mr. Krabs. As he started to cry, get a hold of yourself, Eugene, cried SpongeBob. SpongeBob faced the crowd. Okay, everyone, said SpongeBob, I am going in. Patrick ran up to SpongeBob and begged, do no, do not do it. It's too dangerous. SpongeBob smiled, do not Worry, dangerous. Dangerous is my middle name. As SpongeBob walked up to the door, he said, If I do not make it back alive, give all my jellyfish and nets to Squidward. I do not want them, yelled Squidward from the crowd. I could just see him. He would go, I don't want them. Anyways, here we go. The crowd watched as SpongeBob entered the Krusty Krab. Will SpongeBob be able to get some cheese on that patty? Mr. Krabs, asked the reporter. He has to, he must, said Mr. Krabs. But what if he can't, asked the reporter. Then the world as we know it is over, 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 cried Mr. Krabs. There goes SpongeBob, he's going in. The customer who had ordered the Krabby Patty sat in the corner of the restaurant. He looked up at SpongeBob. Who are you? he asked. I am the manager of this place, said SpongeBob. I am really scared, man, cried the customer. SpongeBob replied, do not worry. Everything is going to be fine. Outside, the crowd gathered and waited. A reporter spoke into the microphone saying, SpongeBob has been inside for 10 seconds. The suspense is killing me, cried Mr. Krabs. Me too, said Patrick, eating an ice cream cone. <laughs> There's Patrick. <laughs> Back inside, SpongeBob sat down with the customer. Do you have a name? asked SpongeBob. My name is Phil, said the customer. SpongeBob nodded and said, that's a good name. You do not understand, screamed Phil. I cannot take it. There was no cheese.
Stay with me, Phil, said SpongeBob. Do you have a family? Yes, replied Phil. I have a lovely wife and two great children. There they are. That's what it's all about, says SpongeBob. Okay, Phil, says SpongeBob. Stay calm. I am just going to open my briefcase. Why, cried Phil. I have only one shot at this. I have to get out the right tools for the job, says SpongeBob. SpongeBob reached into the briefcase and pulled out a pair of solid gold tweezers. Solid gold tweezers, shouted Phil. Yes, they are, said SpongeBob. Now, I want you to do me one favor, Phil, said SpongeBob. What? Phil asked. Say cheese, said SpongeBob, as he pulled out a slice of cheese. SpongeBob carefully put the cheese onto the Krabby Patty. Ooh, look at the sweat. Success! The cheese was on the Krabby Patty. SpongeBob marched out of the Krusty Krab with a smiling Phil by his side. Order up, cried SpongeBob. SpongeBob, I would like to give you the Manager of the Year award, said Mr. Krabs. SpongeBob just smiled back, looking pleased with himself. Then Mr. Krabs turned to Phil and said, And that will be two dollars and 95 cents for the Krabby Patty, Phil. Suddenly, the crowd gathered around SpongeBob and lifted him in the air. Three cheers for the manager, cried Mr. Krabs. Hip, hip, onk. Hip, hip, shouted Mr. Krabs. Onk. Honk. What's that noise? warned SpongeBob. Sounds like an alarm clock going off to me, said Patrick. It's my alarm clock, said SpongeBob. I must be dreaming. Honk. SpongeBob woke up in his bed. Gary, I have a favorite dream about, uh, again, about being the manager of the Krusty Krab. Do you think it will ever happen, Gary? Meow, said Gary. SpongeBob smiled. That is exactly how I feel. The end. Well, I hope you kids all like that book about SpongeBob. Thank you for watching and have a great night and have a great day.